Since 2008, I've been running an architecture firm based in central London. We have clients up to 300 people, I believe. And it's like a company called JLL, Knight Frank, all these big firms, you name it. And 80% are mainly from property agent. Uh, remaining 20% will be either a conveyance solicitor, individual homeowners, or shop owners, and etc. Our uh, reputation grew through the word of mouth. We have a continuing relationship with our dear client as well. And I believe it's to our competitive price. Very quick turnaround. For example, I've been told um, our competitors will normally take about two weeks to finish their work. We can do it within uh, two days after we carried out the survey. Um, and also we got a very friendly staff, just like myself here. But anyhow, we recently decided to buy a handheld uh, LiDAR scanning device because it's suddenly become a bit more affordable, actually, I would say. Uh, so the device we required, recommended by my colleague, is called the FJD Trion P1. So unfortunately, I haven't got the device with me because we decided that my colleague will be the one who mainly carry out the survey and testing. And we're very much in the early stage trying to find out what we can do. But so far, we're very impressed with it and I can easily see we could expand our business just by acquiring a one single uh, LiDAR device indeed. So what I'm going to do is show you what we've gone through on the survey side and also I've done some quick uh, zoom in and all these uh, footage of what happened on site. And later on what I'm going to show you is the scan result for internal space and also the frontage of a typical residential property as well. So enough said, let's get on to the clip, shall we? So here it goes. That's the laser scanner. <laughs> so this is the extra battery, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So that's where you can put the tripod on and that's the Insta360 camera. It's not that heavy actually. That's good. <laughs> All right, so you can put a tripod on this side as well yeah, so what I've got because it's I've supposed got to. A, yeah. um, I've got a, a phone holder. All oh, right. Just literally slots in there. Okay. I see. Okay. That's brilliant. So that's the preview. It's a bit of a wind sound ventilation yeah, because yeah, of the exactly. overheat, isn't it? Yeah. That's the battery level. That's the USB-C plug. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you. You've got the USB-C on that side and the USB-A. All right. Yep. Yeah, USB. Thank you. So after wait, waiting for the iPhone synchronization connection, the Insta360 would basically say you're ready to go, and that's what we're doing. What you tend to do is you have to do like a circle of each room. All right. Then it um, it helps with um, it's not GPS, but it helps sort of close the circle. So yes, I see. A file that is more accurate. Mm. But how do you know whether it's completely surveyed or not? It, it, because so you, you can it... look on here. Okay, and, so um, this is the preview. Yeah, so you can zoom in on on that. So you can you can zoom in and you can see which bits you've which bits you've you've walked around mm. and whether you've missed anything or not. Okay, that's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> wow. All right. So what you just done is um, because it's not quite square. Yeah. The lidar was encouraging you to fill up the rest of the square. Yeah. So that's catching that's all, amazing, of the, yeah. all of the, the floor. Mm -hmm. It's actually putting it quite blocky though for some reason, maybe because it's reflected from the window. These over here, yeah, that's that's just showing it as as Indicative. you can you can change the size of the um, dots cloud points oh, right. to smaller. I think it's just set up quite big as a, okay. on a preview, that's all. So it would show a lot a lot smaller mm. on that. Which one would you, is it is the LAS? So you can do any of those, but for the purposes of this, we would use the FJD SLAM. So here we have it folks. We got the scan result of the first floor. I believe um, it's about 2,500 square foot per floor. So we've been asked to carry out the survey for ground, 
first and second floor of this particular building and um, you can see that it's there's a color effect and it's mainly due to the insta 360 camera that you can actually attach on to the uh try on uh, p1 scanner here and i believe it can project up to 40 meters hence that's why the scanner uh, the measurement actually penetrated through the window here um, several of them and actually reach out to the next door building as well so it's amazing how far it can go um, so let's actually dig into the actual first floor shall we so um, if you pass through that surface of dots, because this is the point cloud, as you all know, um, we can see the um, hanging uh, lighting units as well here. And also the smoke detector here because it's well lit and also the beam that's coming down on here and here as well. So this is the glass partitioning as you can see and some of the reflections splashing out. So that's unfortunate, but um, we can still work out that this is the glass partition mainly because of the video clip that we recorded or your memory and so on. So that's interesting how, uh, what sort of result you get for the reflection of the glass. Uh, we've got the radiator here the fire extinguisher as well. And wow, we've got some um, also the power sockets unit, the emergency exit signs. Um, and you can actually work out the distance uh, through here and here as well. Roughly, that's about three meters, three and a half meters of uh, lighting units. Uh, this is through the Autodesk Recap Pro software that I'm using. If you're not happy with the RGB color, you can always uh, change the color finish of elevation. That's quite cool, greeny. Intensivity, normal, which is pink. Scan location and classification. So hence we know why we need the Insta360 because it makes it more realistic sort of scanning result. The further away you step out, the surface becomes more of a firm sort of um, line of surface. But if you zoom right in, it's because um, you're zooming too close, it becomes dots because that's what point cloud is. So it's not yet a surface, but a dense of points uh, that creates this surface. So let's say, for example, this main task for this job is to uh, create a 2D floor plan. So we've got more information for what we need and we managed to draw the floor plan today. But let's say someone comes back to us saying that, uh, can you draw the section of this floor? We can always rotate it. And this basically is a surface of the internal space. So all we need to do is cut the section through uh, using the AutoCAD and then draw along the line. And then quickly we will be able to draw it without measuring every single unit and so on. So this is fantastic. Now, this is the result of the second floor scanning, um, the top of the floor. And again, you can see that LiDAR uh, scanning project throughout the window to the next door uh, neighbor. Again, we got all these results. That's really cool. I just love that. Um, but there's a main reason I want to show you this, even though it's like similar finishing to the floor below that we just gone through on the first floor, this second floor again you can see people standing here. So I'm sure there are many of you out there wondering what will happen if someone is standing in front of you. That's the result you're gonna get. Um, you can always select these guys and also delete it uh, through uh, using this software or the other software that you have. Again, we've got the glass partition here. It sort of uh, reflect back. Laser actually projects out within um, a matter of seconds so that's the result this is more distinguished glass partition indeed i believe that's the manifestation we got here um, and again we got the um, hanging lighting unit and those lighting effects spreading out as well so that's very cool but again i just want to highlight how it looks like when someone is standing in front of you so be aware uh, that no one is when you're carrying out the survey. I was literally standing right behind uh, my colleague who was holding the LiDAR scanner, bothering him all the time, as you have seen from the video clip early on. But that, I would say, except the actual people standing in front of you, you get a pretty good result. You can even see the number two here and some bags laid on a desk and also the um, door opening as well. You might be wondering, well, um, I believe my colleague was just pushing the door open and you can see the door swung this way and the other door swung that way as well. So that's pretty cool indeed. 
Now this is the scan result of the ground floor and one of the most interesting one actually. So this is different to the other floors above on the first and the second floor. You can already see it managed to um, gather the information for the reflected ceiling layout here. Uh, so this is 600 by 600 clearly and these shadowy squares are the uh, lighting unit that wasn't on at the time. Um, so that's very very encouraging indeed. So let's say if we zoom right in, uh, the only lighting unit that was lit at the time is this uh, pendant, well, sorry, spotlight here. And then um, we got some furniture tables actually lying around here and we got the canteen here. And also we can see the air vent. So not quite clear on this end, but if you kind of zoom out, you can see that's the air vent. And if we look at the reflecting ceiling point of view, it's kind of dotty, but again that's the 600 by 600 lighting um, and you can see the ceiling grid and so on so this is a result of no one being there but unfortunately because the lighting was not lit up i don't know whether that's a good thing or bad thing it managed to get the information about the reflected ceiling but it, the visual is hugely caused by the negative effect of the um sunlight so you can see the third window seems to be a bit distorted but in fact if you actually zoom out and see because of the window itself is actually sit back pushed out to the external wall um, i don't think that's gonna cause any harm for drawing up the floor plan you see that's that's fine um, but somehow visually that doesn't seem to be working very well internally but again i just want to highlight uh, this sort of circumstance. I think you've got to make sure when you do internal survey uh, the area should be well lit and again very encouraging to see the uh, reflected ceiling lights and also oh here it is the smoke detector as well. So through those scanning results um, my colleague managed to draw a very well detailed um, CAD plan here. So we're looking at the AutoCAD software here. So this is the second floor uh, we've got the details of the toilet and also the partition and also that glass partition that we mentioned early on. Unfortunately, we haven't shown the reflected ceiling layout, but that's not going to be a problem whatsoever because our task was to provide only the 2D floor plan uh, for the fit out purpose, etc. So that's the second floor. Uh, that's the first floor. Again, we've got small um, sort of kitchen here, what, which I wasn't aware of also the toilet and the same configuration as the uh, second floor. And lastly, the ground floor again, we had that canteen that was there. And I wasn't aware there was a riser, but uh, when I look back on the scan result, there was a continuing riser that happens from ground to the um, second floor. So um, my colleague's feedback was that it was really good. It managed to grasp a few things that he missed out. So it's assuring, but at the same time, I will be able to review on my end whether he carried out the work properly. All respect to him, by the way, I love this guy. But um, I could use the AutoCAD Recap Pro to uh, be able to check whether it's done properly or not. So we have suddenly upgraded ourselves uh, with the accuracy uh, of the floor plan that we are required to produce. So after my colleague kindly provided me with the CAD drawing result, which I'm very happy with, he also told me that somehow using the Insta360, you could blend in with the um, uh, LiDAR point cloud scan result using the FJD SLAM software, which I haven't gotten access to, but this is pretty impressive actually. It looks more like a photographic, and you can see those um, arrows here I think it's like you can go through this walkthrough image that we're still exploring by the way so that's the first result so if we go for the second somehow um, the downside of this that we're trying to sort out is that you can still see my colleague's face and somehow I'm laughing with joy because of this technology <laughs> um, and then we got this um, rather odd sort of dark and sort of effect here but i think that's more much better than what the um things that we could grasp on the autocad recap pro um, and that's pretty good as well so i'm still um we're, sorry we're still waiting for this walkthrough sort of result that we could share with our clients if they need to uh, so this is still in the research indeed 
Now this is a very exciting result that I wasn't expecting. It's actually the elevation side of a typical residential property that we scanned through. Now, I believe my colleague just wonder about, about a minute uh, from the front yard to the backyard here. And um, when he was actually standing at this point, you can see that it actually projects through to the next door, uh, across neighbor, and also pass through that we got something that looks like a tree there or maybe it's a building but you can see how much of a distance it can measure up to and when we actually go to the um, backyard of this that's quite detailed isn't it that is really well detailed you can immediately work out what these extension of the shape and what's going on you got a bit of a barbecue sort of cooker here as well outdoor um, and one of the most interesting that I discovered here is that I would have normally drawn this as straight line, but you can see uh, comparing to the shape of the uh, square of the um, actual house, it's slightly angled here. I would have never worked that out until um, we actually use this LiDAR scanner. And um, this is really encouraging as well because to be honest with you, I am not really, I was not interested on the residential side because it takes a lot of time and effort for the uh, survey, but this will immediately put us in a good game. It will quickly, uh, sorry, it will reduce down our timing for a survey as well. So this actually opens up a brand new opportunity for us indeed. Now you would have noticed that uh, we didn't manage to measure the pitch roof is because when you actually hold it up uh, standing in here uh, Because it's angled um, you can't really measure it But we managed to purchase an extension pole that you can attach to the bottom of the unit So we haven't got any problem with that now uh, as, So we got a very good opportunity to expand on the residential side as well So you can see that for the outdoor elevation side of it. It's fantastic this device it will grasp almost every single sort of details, almost like a complete service. Look at that, that's just amazing. You can see what's going on. You can see the tree there as well. I believe that's the sunlight reflection, something like that. So that's why it's showing as white, but very detailed indeed. Um, so you won't miss the thing. You can also see the grid of the brickwork as well. Um, and also if someone asked to draw the, um, side elevation that's what you can do you can see that that bit sticks out here and you can also measure it up as well so the overall distance from here to here is about 6.6 uh, meters and um, and so on so that's really good so uh, we're definitely going to extend our business heavily focused on the residential side as well for planning application house extensions and so on so Please do give us a call. So we're very pleased with the results so far. Again, I just want to remind you, we're still doing a bit of a research on what we can do. It would be really nice that we can actually send a quick link to our clients, whoever wishes, so that they can actually walk through the actual premises um, and keep that data with them. I think the only downside of this whole thing is that um, one of the floors, three floors that we scan, it came up around 280 megabytes. So it does actually take a lot of data. So you have to be prepared for a huge amount of um, internal storage for your computer, cloud data storage and so on. So if you end up having several clients asking for these files to be kept, how do you continue that? I think somehow we got to figure out to sort of, you know, reduce the size of the uh, memory and so on. But that's down to us anyway. But um, other than the, a lot of data um, required for your internal storage, which we were expecting anyway, um, this suddenly opens up with so many different opportunity for us um, to expand our business residential work as you have seen i think this will be excellent for scanning elevations of the building it will definitely speed up but also on the internal side as well but somehow i feel like this is not really uh, designed for internal scanning especially for this reflected ceiling um, recording and so on you would have seen it's actually more dotty um, and it's 
slightly difficult uh, to distinguish which one is the smoke detector, which one is the PIR sensor. But again, my colleague is still uh, working on blending in the Insta360 imaging coloring uh, mixture with the point clouds. So that might come out to be a different result than what I'm actually saying right now. So it's a still early stage. We're very excited about it. We just need to figure out how we're gonna store our data and expand and so on. So I just wanna say thank you very much, FJ Dynamics for coming up with this fantastic, rather affordable device that we can actually use to expand. I'm actually 100% convinced we're gonna get way more out of this than what we invested on. So I hope this video sort of explained how good uh, this LiDAR scanner is, but if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.